Hey guys, and welcome to the Chemistry Shack. In this video, I will show you how to purify boric acid using a technique known as recrystallization. Boric acid is useful in making borate salts, but it can also be used to make green colored fire. Since I will be using the boric acid to make green fire, it is important to purify it first as impurities will mess up the green color of the flame. 99% boric acid can be bought as roach killer at hardware stores. To remove the small amount of impurities, we will carry out what is known as a recrystallization. In the interest of keeping this video short, I am not going to describe in detail how recrystallization works. However, I will have a separate video on this in the future to fully explain what recrystallization is and how it works. But essentially, recrystallization is just a technique that is used to purify solids. Before we try to recrystallize the boric acid, we need to use a solubility table to determine if it is even worth recrystallizing. If we scroll down to the data for boric acid, we can see that the solubility values of boric acid are listed from 0 degrees to 100 degrees Celsius. From this table, we can observe that boric acid is about 10 times more soluble in boiling water than in zero degree water, so we won't lose much of our product in the recrystallization. The table listed boric acid solubility in boiling water as 23 grams per 100 milliliters of water. Since I want to purify 40 grams, I have measured out 175 milliliters of water and added it to a beaker. Then the 40 grams of boric acid was added to the water. We need to boil the water to get all of the acid to dissolve. You could use a hot plate or gas burner, but I prefer to use a microwave as it heats up solutions a lot faster. So the beaker was placed in a microwave with a watch glass on top to prevent splashes. It was then microwaved for a couple minutes until all of the powder had dissolved. Once everything was dissolved, the beaker was removed from the microwave and allowed to cool to room temperature. After cooling, you can see a nice deposit of crystals on the bottom of the beaker. To squeeze the last bit of crystals out of the solution, the beaker was placed in a freezer and cooled to 0 degrees Celsius. And after cooling, there are significantly more crystals on the bottom of the beaker. The crystal deposit was broken up using a glass stir rod. The mixture was then vacuum filtered. The crystals were then washed with a little bit of cold water. Make sure not to wash the crystals too much or you will begin to dissolve them. After the washes, you can either leave your crystals on a paper plate to dry, or you can dry them in an oven. Just make sure not to heat it above 170 degrees Celsius, as boric acid decomposes at that temperature. After drying, the product was removed from the oven and transferred into a very high-tech scientific storage device. In an upcoming video, I will be using this boric acid to make green colored flames, so stay tuned for that experiment. Well, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to click that thumbs up button and share the video with your friends. Also, make sure to subscribe to The Chemistry Shack so you can be notified whenever I release a new video. Subscribing is totally free and it's a great way to keep in touch with my latest uploads. Thanks for watching and see you next time.